guys! Today I'm going to talk to you all about a really really quick way to take notes out of a textbook. So if you guys have seen my previous video on taking notes out of a textbook, you know how I take notes for history and other humanity subjects. But for sciences, I use a different method just because it's easier to organize information. So before I start, I have to get out all of my supplies. So I start with my Muji gel ink pens that I got off of Amazon, along with my Stedler Tri Plus Fine Liners, my favorite writing utensils, and also these Pentel RSVP pens. I also have to, of course, have my textbook, a composition notebook, a straight edge ruler, and a smaller Mead five star notebook. So on the first page of my composition notebook, I have an index set up. So I have the names of the chapters along with the pages of the notebook that those chapters use. So that way it's easier for me to find everything and everything's really organized. So on this uh, front cover of the notebook, I have a color code key that I set up for myself just as a reference point when I first started out with this method. So the best tip to take notes quickly is to adapt to the textbook that you're taking notes out of. So in my textbook, each chapter is divided up into five or six subsections. For example, this is chapter 57, so I have 57.1 and 57.2, etc. So I use the margins of my composition notebook to denote each subsection, so that way if I have to look back in the textbook, it's easier for me to find the information that I was uh, writing about in my notes. So for the title of the chapter, I take my straight edge and I make an outline around it so it forms a bit of a box. That way you can distinguish it from the rest of the text and it's really easy without having to do overly like flowy letters or anything just because it's a lot quicker. So then for each subsection title, I take my straight edge and I do a double underline. And below that, I put bullet points and if I have any subpoints to that bullet point, I use an arrow that has an angle to the right. And if I have an example, I put an X with a circle around it to symbolize an example. If I have a subsection underneath that section, I have a single underline and my bullet points are indented about a centimeter. And the same way, if I have a subpoint, I have an arrow that arcs to the right. And then that whole process starts again if I have another subsection. So I find that that's like a really easy way to organize my notes just because it feels logical to me. And then um, I use the warm colored tones like the pinks, reds, and oranges for vocab. And then anything in the blue or other like cool toned colors or more of like important points that I need to remember or relationships between terms that's important to remember for a test. So science is a very vocabulary based subject and since I already color code with the pink on this chapter, every word that is in pink was bolded in my textbook. So again, I adapted to the textbook that I use and that way it helps me decide what's important and what isn't as important in the chapter. So anything in pink is also transferred into this notebook. So this is a smaller Mead five-star notebook that I really like using because it has smaller pages. So I use this method as an adaptation of my alternative to flashcards. I have a video on that and I will link it up above if you guys are interested in knowing more about why exactly I use this method. But it, for the basics, I do um, use the subsection titles just like I do in this notebook. So that way it corresponds well and I'm able to interact between both sets of notes. And I put the term on this side of the paper and on the other side I have the definition and or the application of that term. And so that notebook goes on until I run out of all of the sections of the chapter. So that way I have the whole chapter in both outline form and in a testable vocab form. So that way I'm able to quiz myself with it. And I find that both of them together have made me very successful in this class. Thanks for watching. 